All right, I've been taking off uh, 10 millimeter bolts to get these brackets off for the uh, accelerator cable and cruise control, etc. here in the front, and then uh, took out two bolts to get this throttle body off, because I'm not going to mess with that clip. There's a black plastic clip on the outer edge of the throttle body there to get that cable off. I'm not going to mess with it. I'm just taking off the bolts, two 10 millimeter bolts <coughs> in the front here. And this back here is the last bolt. <coughs> that is a uh, 5.5 millimeter bolt for the top right there. So I'm going to take this throttle body off and just lay it off to the side here instead of uh, fighting that cable like I said. So just pick this all up. Oh, disconnect this up right there and we'll lay it off to the side. malfunction not sure what exactly happened lost power so taking off some 10 millimeter bolts here along the side got the connectors disconnected taking clamps off of these hoses with the pair of players so I can get them off I'm considering taking off just all of them right there the heater connection so in the process of taking them off that's what I'm doing so pull those hoses off and get them out of the way and keep working working on the passenger side right now. Alright, we got most of the hoses out of the way. Got that one down there still. We got a little space though now. And disconnect this. We're going to push that white tang down. And it'll come off like that. We can probably leave that on. There's a couple 10 millimeter bolts holding on. Nuts, bolts. Leave that there. Pull off the uh, spark plug wires. I need to get the distributor cap off and line up our mark. Pull the distributor out, maybe two, for the intake. Let's go over here. And, uh, take that 10 millimeter nut off. And uh, maybe try and zip tie this electrical thing out of the way. Pretty annoying. Then we'll move to the front and. Uh, Loosen up the tensioner, it's probably got a square in it for a 3 8 ratchet to go in and we'll loosen up the tensioner, take the belt off. We need to move the AC, remove those 13 millimeter bolts holding it in place. And we'll lay that off to the side too, we get all this hose we can use to uh, lay it off to the side because we'll need to move this bracket to get to one of the bolts for the intake. So it's got a square hole for your 3 8 ratchet, you can put it in there and then uh, use that to move the uh, tensioner and loosen the belt and take it off. So we'll want to get this uh, bracket off for the alternator, probably take the uh, alter alternator off and the air conditioning off because we'll need to get access to bolts uh, for removing the uh, intake. So we've got the 13 millimeter bolts out of here and we can uh, move this out of the way, right, uh, sling it all the way over, maybe dangle it over the edge here somewhere. I'll get some to protect the uh, fender and uh, we'll sling it out of the way. 
All right, we're gonna work on getting this bracket off. Let's check it out here. It's 15. 14 is a pretty, pretty firm fit, so we'll go with 14 millimeter here. A 10 millimeter bolt there for the power string pipe there for filling it. And uh, so we got three we can see, and there's a fourth one down there. Down there, there's one. I'm not sure if there's one on the other side on the back, so we'll undo these and see where we're at. One, two, three bolts and one nut there. 14 millimeter. I have a selection of uh, da uh, extensions and also have deep sockets I might use to get to the bottom. 14 millimeter bolt. I don't know how you can see it, but right behind the old, below the exhaust is a one nut we'll need to take off or loosen so we can slide this bracket back. I'm probably going to take this out, maybe just to give you a better view and for me to get a better shot at it. Here's a 10 millimeter nut and it should just uh, pull out after taking that off. So we loosen up that bolt down there, 14 millimeter. It's allowed us to slide this bracket forward. We can really see the damage again on the valve cover. So we get it slid forward so we can get to all the bolts right there. In the process of taking the alternator off, all 13 millimeter bolts. One bolt in the back as well. So I'm gonna take that out of the way. Took the idler out of the way right here in the front, 13 millimeter bolt as well. Help me get this uh, hose off in the front a little bit easier. I like my space, so you can choose to work around it or not.
that's not actually attached to the alternator, so I can take the alternator out now. So I disconnected the one electrical connector on here, right here. I've got my space. See the bolt I didn't need to take out? Right there. Sure about the lighting. There we go. Take this hose off. Then we'll move back to the distributor. I wrote on them, that should be good enough. T20 Torx bit to get these out. Then we'll use the rotor probably and what I might try to do is turn the engine over so I get the pointer maybe to point straight back somewhere I can make a mark on the firewall. That's really the most important thing is to mark uh, the distributor so you can put it back in the same spot. Because if you don't put it in the same spot, eh, for this truck it probably will not run. So we want to get it right.